summer probably feels like it was forever ago. I mean, we've already had an outdoor game. The Oilers got Adam Larson for Taylor Hall, the Canadians got Shea Weber for P.K. Subban, and everyone lost their mind. A lot of Oilers fans thinking that their team didn't get enough for former first overall pick Taylor Hall. A lot of Canadians fans figuring out what is to be gained in a Subban Weber trade. And wouldn't you know it, oh it's early, it's very early, but Montreal is first place in the NHL, Edmonton is second. So I guess my question is, were detractors wrong? And even if detractors aren't wrong, do you have to give Peter Shirelli and Mark Bergevin a little bit of credit? I didn't think only getting Adam Larson for Taylor Hall was good value for the Oilers, but I still saw what they were doing. Get a defenseman, we're trading out some money, alright, we'll give that to Milan Lucic, and hey look, we drafted this finished kid, we'll put him in the lineup right away. In Montreal, you got a very expensive right-handed shot with a lot of offense in exchange for a very expensive right-handed shot with a lot of offense. And I guess what made this trade so controversial is it really felt personal, didn't it? And I don't think the argument was ever Shea Weber's bad, it was just Subban's better. And cue up the best offensive start of Shea Weber's career because, of course. And I think some more of the concern there was as Weber ages, his contract's gonna get worse and worse. But if the Habs win a cup, maybe even more than one in the first two or three seasons, nobody cares. And maybe we should've saw this coming. After all, the Oilers and the Canadians missed their franchise players for most of last season, Connor McDavid and Carey Price. A trade acquisition like Shaw, a rookie like Lekkonen, a banger of a free agent signing in Radulov. McDavid clicking, Lucic clicking, defense is a little better and the goaltending is better. And you can agree or disagree with what each team has done, but it's a result-driven business and right now, both teams are getting the results they want. My question to you is, do you think these results will continue? Aren't sports fun?